Alright, we are back here in the Crystarium, and we've just gotten up from our usual story nap, where we talk to the Warrior of Darkness, the Ghost of Warrior of Darkness, and then we wake up the next morning and have our next quest. Level 77, The Return to Yulmore. By the way, his face lights up at your approach. The manager of sweets has been waiting for you. Ah, oh, Mistress Balobo, I trust you had a pleasant rest. While you were ensconced in your chamber, a message arrived for you from the Exarch. He bids you come to the ocular at your earliest convenience. And, madame, wherever your duties may take you next, I shall pray for your safe return. May the night keep you. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. I'm having a lot of trouble with light, actually. I'm having trouble holding on to my light, but I think we learned that the Warrior of Darkness can help me. Uh, deal with all the light that I've been absorbing from the Light Wardens. Wait, where am I going? This way. Presumably, at some point, all the light I've been absorbing will overwhelm me. And the Warrior of Darkness will have to save me. Into the ocular we go. Dramatic music. There you are. May I assume you've had your fill of rest? That is well. Now that we are all present, let us speak of our plan. Thus far, we have vanquished four Light Wardens, restoring Night to much of Norvrand. Only one remains, that of Colusia, and with Reen to guide us, I am certain we will find it. We're so close now. If we can just take care of this one last Warden, we'll rob the Sin Eaters of their final foothold and drive them out of Norvrant once and for all. I feel like something is definitely positively going to go wrong. It will be a new beginning for the first. A chance for the people to rebuild their world. In short, a prize worth fighting for. And in thus delivering the first from destruction, so too shall we unsow the seeds of the eighth umbral calamity. Do you hear? Your dreams of rejoining is in jeopardy. Are you sure you're not tempted to intervene? <sighs> you labor under the misapprehension that vanquishing the Sin Eaters is tantamount to saving the world. It is not. In truth, you only delay the inevitable, lengthening your fleeting lives by the smallest of margins. It would be churlish of me to deny you this small concession, close as we've become. Foolish and misguided though you are, you are not without charm. Each and every one of you is possessed of a noble heart. When the weak want for succor, you do not hesitate to provide it. Alas, your nobility is short-sighted. You think only of the problem in front of your nose. A limitation of your ephemeral existence. Our lives may seem short and insignificant to the likes of you, but one does not need to be an eternal being to achieve lasting change. Uh, if I may stop you there, 
I do not claim that we Asians are special. That is another misconception. In the beginning, everyone, everyone lived nigh for eternity. Such was the natural order of things. But like so much else, this was taken from you. You won't object if I borrow your plaything. In the distant past, when the world was one and whole, a great calamity threatened all life. It began without warning. The very laws of the star were warped and broken, and chaos swiftly spread throughout the land. Faced with annihilation, we sought to imbue the star with its own will. Thus was Zodiac born, and by his power was order restored. fools began to fear that Zodiac's might was too great, and so they conjured another to keep him in check, your own dear Hydaelyn. And the two beings waged war until, with a single devastating blow, Hydaelyn unmade Zodiac, scattering his being across space and time. So you told us in the Katana Ravel. Yes, yes! And there began our woes, with Hydaelyn's blow, and all that it wrought. As a counterbalance to Zodiac, Hydaelyn was created with the power to enervate her foe. This singular ability strikes not at such banal things as flesh, but everything that defines the target, diluting its existence. For example, was she to strike you? Two individuals, identical in appearance yet reduced in all respects. Strength, intelligence, the soul itself. All is halved. Do you see? This self-same fate befell not only Zodiac, but the very star. Only three were fortunate enough to escape the Sundering. Me being one of them. When I beheld the shattered remnants of our home, I knew deepest despair. The inhabitants of these fourteen fragments were feeble, frail and foolish, oblivious to their imperfection, ignorant of their past. Malformed creatures thrashing blindly about. Pitiful, disturbing, depressing. So, we took it upon ourselves to rejoin the worlds. But in our eagerness and, I confess, our ignorance, we erred and made a useless void of the Thirteenth. It was only afterwards that we discovered a connection twixt source and shard, a flow of energy that maintains elemental balance. And thus did we arrive at our time-honored modus operandi.
From a purely Asian standpoint, it could be said that what you seek to do is only logical. But that would be to ignore the immeasurable destruction wrought with each rejoining. You have murdered millions, and this we cannot condone. By your fragmented existence, you continue to give rise to tragedies far crueler than any calamity. But yes, moral relativism and all that. Case in point, I do not consider you to be truly alive, ergo, I will not be guilty of murder if I kill you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's an awesome line. Oh, don't look at me like that. You, for whom I have only the highest expectations. A vaunted hero of the source, seven times rejoined. What? Seven times? Long have I awaited one who might brave a path of lesser tragedy. A resilient soul able to endure the necessary pain. I dare to hope that my wait is over. So, finish your task and slay the Light Warden. Make proof of your usefulness, and then we may speak again. So he clearly wants us to be gathering light from the Light Wardens for some nefarious Asian purposes. Forgive me, my lord, but this could not wait. Speak freely, Captain. Our informant in Colusia sends word of unusual activity in Yulmor. It appears their forces are entrenching themselves at key points throughout the city, making ready for an attack by all indications. An intriguing use of resources. I rather doubt Lord Vorthry's concern for the safety of his citizens. You think he's harboring the Light Warden inside the city walls? Even if he does have some means of controlling the Sin Eaters, wouldn't that be a little risky? Risky or not, if there is even a chance the Warden is hiding there, we will need to act fast. The longer we wait, the better prepared the Yulmorans will be. Maybe Lord Vothri is the Light Warden, or that lion. It's probably that lion. Agreed. See to your preparations then and make for Colusia. God's willing, this hunt will be the last. Let us see it through to the end. We should begin by assembling in right. There we may assess the situation in Yulmor and decide how best to proceed. Why do I have a feeling that it's not going to be just a straight walk right to Yulmor? Lena! We've not spoken for a while, have we? Not since the aftermath of the Eater's attack. Rest assured I am fully recovered and will do my utmost to support you and your fellow warriors of darkness. Thank you. Your condition is unchanged. Good. If you can but hold out until the end of the coming battle, I am confident that we will find a remedy for your affliction. Oh, Emmet Silk is still here. Yes, did my lesson provoke thought, giving rise to further questions? 
Three of you escaped the Sundering, but what of those who didn't? Why, their very beings were divided into fourteen, of course. Yet by our power, we, unsundered Assians, may raise up one of their fragments to their original office. Ah, but I suppose this in itself bears explaining. So, the names by which you know us are, in fact, our names. Be it Elidibus or Lahabrea or Igayorum, all are titles of office, and when an office is vacated, it may be filled by another. Over the eons, I have overseen several changings of the god among our sundered brethren. And in such instances, the vacant title ordinarily goes to another fragment of the self-same soul. While it is by no means impossible to raise up wholly unrelated individuals, tis we whose fervent entreaties brought forth Lord Zodiac, whose souls he claimed in the beginning, who make the truest servants. So, if we were to defeat all the Asians of the Source, then none would remain to raise up new Asians, and our kind would eventually fade from existence. You would like that, wouldn't you? Well, feel free to dream. Tis no crime to do so. Hmm, do I get to ask what the guy's name is? Tell me your real name. Tell me your name. What is your true name, then? Hmm, there may come a day when I reveal my true name to you, but this is not it. Of course, you may dwell. You may well die none the wiser, but life is full of such disappointments. <laughs> Anybody else hiding in here? Okay. I guess we're heading back to Calusia. And how do we get to this place? Calusia. We're heading back to right in Calusia. Right is over here. Yeah, so I have a feeling we're going to have to travel... We're not going to be able to travel from here to Yulemore. We're going to have to travel all the way up here, and then go around here, and then back here probably, and then back down here. Then we can make it to Yulemore. That's what's probably going to happen, because we got... We got three more levels of quests. Or at least two more levels. They're not going to make it easy for us. I see Reen and Alphano. Where is everybody else? This aura. What could it be? Uh, it might be Yulmore. It might be the Light Warden in Yulmore. There you are, Tiav. The others have gone on ahead to reconnoiter Gate Town. We are to follow shortly. It has been a while, has it not, since the two of us infiltrated Yulmore? Since we faced Lord Vothry, and I felt such fury as I have never felt before. His actions are unconscionable. <laughs> His actions are unconscionable, of course, and any abhorrence I felt for him entirely justified. Yet mingled with my rage, there was something else. At first I was unsure what it was, but in the course of our struggles, I found the answer. In Vothri's self-righteousness, in his absolute belief that he, and he alone, is the cure to the world's ills, I saw a, ref a reflection of myself, and it brought the memories of all my past follies flooding back. He is the vainglorious, ignorant fool I once was, and having shared in his affliction, I feel duty-bound to open his eyes to the truth. Whether he will accept it with the good grace I did is another question. Hmm. What is it, Reen? Do you sense the Light Warden? Hmm. 
Uh, I'm not sure. The aura is different. Perhaps if we were a little closer... It is time we were on our way in any case. Let us join our comrades in Gate Town. Tiov, as a precaution, may I ask that you go first to ensure that the path is clear? The closer we are to Yulmor, the more I worry that Reen may be recognized. If you see any prying eyes along the way, pray encourage their owners to look elsewhere. Okay. Go on, Tiof. We will follow Anon. As I am now, I don't think people will recognize me as the Oracle, but Thancred did always warn against taking unnecessary risks. You could at least change your dress. <laughs> um... What was I gonna say? Oh, I wonder if there's two Light Wardens in there. Maybe it's Vothri and the Lion. Well, I mean, the whole room was full of Sin Eaters in there, for one thing. Where Am I going the right way? Oh, no, we're going... <laughs> I am going completely the wrong way. I'm supposed to go down the road and beat up any thugs along the way. Ah, oh, it's back to the circus music. The odd sort of Romanian circus music that I remember so well. There's a delirious youth here. Oh, Voth. Ugh. You hail the civilian, but he does not respond and continues his own incoherent rambling. Ugh. I feel like I should beat him up. Shouldn't I beat him up? I feel like he's a spy. There's an agitated man. Lord Fothery, we hear, we obey. Uh-oh, uh a hostile presence. It's an enhanced, entranced citizen. An enhanced, entranced citizen. Ha-ha. Ha-ha. Oh, he's down. So he has the power to enslave his citizenry. Okay, two down. Was I supposed to fight this other one? I feel like that other one should be dealt with as well. a euphoric youth. Hello. Long live Lord Vothry. Long live Lord Vothry. Long live the... Uh. Okay, I guess we continue going. Are we sure I wasn't supposed to beat up those people? I wonder what this place is gonna look like when the, the Light Warden is gone. Oh, 
there's a crowd. What's happening here, Arianje? Our myth our mission hath begun on a strange note. Uh are the uh the jonglers are they here? Oh what's happening? What's what's wrong with everyone? What's happening, Thancred? Ah, oh, good of you to join us. I was debating whether to warn you, but it's too late now. I take it you noticed people behaving strangely along the path. It's more of the same here. Ishtoli and Alizé are investigating as we speak. Let's wait and see what they have to say. Okay. The return to Yulmore is complete. 